O'Connor and Kaluli is sided with the English and three chieftains from Connacht, Red Hugh O'Donnell, McDermott and O'Rourke are not happy about it. It's O'Connor, he's joined the English. He's betrayed our country. We need to show him who's right. We need a plan. Well, what can we do? They overpower us. How about... That's, That's perfect. When the English Earl of Essex heard of O'Connor's predicament, they sent orders to Clifford and Connacht to provide help for O'Connor. We have to be prepared for anything, no stopping for rest. You're finally here. Yeah, I am. And in the nick of time by the looks of it. Wait, we can actually attack and take this army. It's worth a try for our country. Attack! Remain calm. We need to win this battle. Prepare to die, Dan. You. We have to tell him that we succeeded. Oh, the battle's already over. But we killed Clifford, so we win. Yeah, speaking of that, let's behead him and bring him to O'Connor. Great idea, and well done on our victory. After the big battle, Red Hugh and his army go and show O'Connor the decapitated head of Clifford. It is accompanied by a message that if Clooney Castle does not immediately surrender, O'Connor's head should be sent in to keep it company. O'Connor surrenders to Ireland.